In this video I'm going to show you how you can play with the Valve Steam Deck on a much bigger portable screen together with the Rokit Air, so stay tuned! Welcome back to a new video here on MRTV. My name is Marco Budde and who don't want this? The Valve Steam Deck is a new portable PC right from Valve where you can play all your Steam library games on the go. And some of you might wonder if you can play VR with this Steam Deck. Of course, technically it's possible, but of course it's so dumb because the hardware is only for resolutions up to 720p or 800p, but not for VR resolutions. The biggest problem with portable devices are the small screens. And you don't always have your TV with you, of course not, when you're on the go. So how you can make this screen bigger when you're on the go? The solution is the Rokit Air. You can make any video output like in a big cinema screen. And it's also very thin, very light and very portable. And with this USB-C port, with this report alt mode on the Valve Steam Deck, you can connect each other and then you have with your glasses, a big screen where you can play any game. So let's have a deeper look on the Valve Steam Deck and how it works with the Rokit Air. This is the Valve Steam Deck. It's a portable PC where you have full-fledged controller inputs, not like the Nintendo Switch. We have real thumbsticks here, like on a real Xbox controller. We have touchpads and we have a gyroscope to play first-person shooter here with a little bit help. The device is quite powerful and you can play nearly every Steam game, every AAA game here on the go. But as you can see, the screen is bigger than the one on the Nintendo Switch, but it's way too small to play hours and hours. So what would be the solution to make the screen here bigger? And how can we make the flat gaming more attractive? Well, there's a really nice portable solution. Let's have a look at the Rokit Air. This is the Rokit Air. With the Rokit Air, you can project any video output to the device itself. It even has speakers, but to be honest, the speakers are not the best feature on this device. So let's just connect the Rokit Air to the Steam Deck. It's just plug and play with USB-C and it even gets power from the Steam Deck itself. So no battery management here. And as you can see, that's the picture of my Steam Deck. That's the video output of my Steam Deck and it's a little screen here in the device at the top and it mirrors a video source to your side to your vision so it's a very very nice looking picture here the screen size is much bigger as you would play on the steam deck and this is the big advantage it's portable as the steam deck it needs no additional power but you can use the big screen as you would play on the TV at your home. So it's very, very stunning how this works. And for me, it's a real use case here. I never thought that this would be a nice solution to play with your Steam Deck. And to be honest, I didn't thought that there would be a use case for the Rokit Air. But as I've got the Steam Deck, I've just tested it with the Rokit Air and it's just amazing. Maybe you ask yourself how big is the picture and I've tried to capture it here through the lens. So when I sit two meters away in front of my 48 inch screen here, you can see that it's nearly as big as the 40 inch TV. So it's very nice in my opinion, not 120 inch like in some other videos, but very nice. 
This is the Rocket Air and right now I'm playing The Witcher 3 here on the Steam Deck and you can hear the sound a little bit of the fans of course. The Steam Deck fans are ramping up when you play games like Witcher 3 here with high settings and you can hear the game sound a little bit. So this is the experience and to be honest I've never thought that this device, this Rocket Air AR glass is so perfectly for the Steam Deck. I, I've never thought about this and to be honest I would totally suggest to buy both the Steam Deck and the Rocket Air because I've now like 27 inch screen in front of me because the screen size is only relevant in the context of the distance to the screen. So 120 inch is not the truth without the information of the distance to this 120 inch screen. When I am just like two meters away from my TV, my 48 inch TV, it's like the same size as if I would play directly on my TV. So maybe you can now compare with your TV at home. The picture quality is very good in my opinion. It's like uh, at least as sharp as the Steam Deck screen itself and totally it makes fun here. I, I really like the screen, I really like the black levels. First I thought it's OLED but it's not. You can see the borders when you play with the aspect ratio for example like 60 to 10 then you have borders, black borders on left and right and uh, these borders are not not blacked out like OLED panels would black out those borders. So really, really nice, uh, even without OLED, it's, it's very dark, the blacks, and of course it's very bright as well because you can use the Rocket Air even on daylight and this is very, very good. You are not totally away from your real reality, you can just see everything. You can set your diopters here to up to minus five diopters when you ha when you are short sighted, and this is very good for me as I wear glasses and I need those settings here with a glass like the Rocket Air. It's very important for me. And you can see your environment. You are not totally in another world like with the VR headset. Here you can play flat games, but not on a small screen like this. You can play it like a bigger screen and to be honest this is a very nice combination. I would totally suggest this and I would like to hear from you. Do you like the Steam Deck? Do you like the Rocket Air? And do you like the combination of both? Please tell me in the comments and I would say we will see each other again in the next video. So thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.